Okay, so we have a, a, a circular pumpkin there, quite large surface area on the top. Uh, previous videos, what we have done, the side is being, or are they being tall, or they, the side is being surface. Yeah. So, so looking at that, uh, we're gonna carve uh, some sort of a, a really scary face. Obviously, it's gonna suit the theme, Halloween theme there. So, uh, so th this is the surface area we, we're gonna use. Okay, uh, now to be just careful because where the stem part is, that that to be a background. And um, again, uh, this this part has to be taken off, and all the inside, all the pulp needs to be taken out. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna draw some lines over here, which which is gonna give us an idea uh, what kind of face we are carving there. So if we if we again taking uh, the pumpkin all the way into half, okay, uh, that will give us again a symmetric. Uh, image of what we're gonna carve. Okay, so, so taking taking that part as the head and that part as as the face, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna carve something something along the lines of uh, uh, predator uh, with the with the teeth and the and the scary part on the side on the side there. So just keeping that into mind, you can always have a picture downloaded from the computer or something, and having a look at it and while you're making it. So it it is a little bit complex design but it can be done quite easily. So if you just follow the lines there, so all I'm gonna do is just straight line in the middle, and I'm gonna take the sides out of it. Okay, so just give a line there. Now that's that's just the part for the head. Again, that just to give a, a, a guidelines uh, how we gonna where, where the eye is gonna go. So just marking the eyes there. Okay, so that gives a rough lines there. And again, giving big long sharp teeth there. Okay, so just make a cavity there on the eyes. So I'm, I'm just taking all the part off because we're actually going to make eye out of a, a separate part and we're going to plug that in there somewhere here. So I'm not actually making leaving any space there. So it will look more three-dimensional. Three Just did take out a bit of a head part there as well.
Okay, so as you can see, I've created uh, a bit of guidelines there uh, where the face kind of goes. So that could be the part of the head there, and then just a bit of eyes and teeth and the uh, and the mouth area there. Uh, so if you just follow all the steps afterwards um, till the end there, and then uh, it will it will work out as a as a scary face. That's what we have aimed for. Okay, so we have finished carving uh, the scary face, and as I said, uh, the lines we took uh, is more like a predator uh, kind of a theme, kind of a thing we have gone through just to just to get a bit more scariness in the thing, uh, following the theme of the of the of the festival. Um, so if you see, the the eyes have been carved out for just all, all they are is just been a small round uh, cylindrical shape which is uh, we are put in the cavity there and just a couple of cloves there just to give a effect on the eye there and same in the front there where we started the mouth part there we just just give a bit of a definition there and again uh, this kind of uh, hair kind of a look there uh, you can always use a cannular and all it does is it just you just peel off halfway through and it just gives us a, a hair kind of a look there on the on the body so uh, that's that's quite appealing on the on the front part, and again the teeth as well they've been they've been carved out in a in a, in a triangular uh, shape, and they be just with a couple of toothpicks you can you can hold them in the in the space there. So again it's been hollowed from the bottom, and there will be a candle uh, which can be used to lighten them up. That's it. Thank you.